So this one is an interesting one. It's using the dog and cat thing. I, I have a, I'm like a functional programming nerd. So when I see people using dog and cat and animal and examples, I get like a weird irrational rage building um, or like shape, uh, apples, oranges, that kind of thing. So anyway, we'll ignore that. We have this cat interface and this dog interface. And what we're doing is we're looking up. So we, we pass look up the union of cat or dog and we're looking up dog. And we're expecting that to be like lowercase d, you know, we're expecting that to be the, the dog type. So each of these structures has a sort of implicit constraint, which is that it has a type field and that type field has some value. And we're kind of indexing into that value to get the, the wrapper type. Hopefully that makes sense, but the examples are here to, to guide us if we screw it up. Um, all right, so where would you start on something like this? Okay, so it's pretty clear that we're going to need to index into something in order to get our type. So we need to construct, an, uh, I would assume, a mapped type wherein we take the type field of each of these interfaces and use it as the key to return the type that we want. Yep. Um, I think that's the bulk of the problem. Okay, so in order to do that, we have to say, I think we can make T extend string. Uh, Property key. Right? Oh, yeah, we can make it property key. Yeah, yeah. we've been talking for anyone just tuning into this video. Property key is a little union in TypeScript that's just a union of string or number or symbol, and it corresponds to the possible values of object properties. In TypeScript, I guess I have to add that part, because uh, in JavaScript proper, there's no such thing as number keys for, for objects, but I'll grumble about that another day. All right, so I'm going to say that mm, we have... Good, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. We're going to have an array of the, or uh, I guess those do have to be strings. Yeah, I, they probably do have to be strings, but it's I don't know if it matters too much in and this case. The way this is set up, we're just passing the... Yeah, just passing a re regular, regular thing. Oh, and this is going to wind up being... Um, not an array. Yeah, it's not going to wind up being an array. It's going to wind up being a, a, a union. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yep. So... Okay, so we have that, and we need to basically construct, I believe we want to do a mapped type and then index it by T. So uh, let's say we have a mapped type of, we want to do, mm -hmm. what do we want to do for our map type? Is it key of? Backwards, you, you want to do like K in T. key of T. Yeah, that this, this syntax always eludes me a little bit. It's it's just 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 enough trick trickiness. Um, and then of course we want the value to be the type. Uh, so we have what what do we have for our types? We have u. We need mm -hmm. u where the type is. Mm hmm. Actually, this is not as easy as I thought. So we have coming in the types here, and that extends this. So we want u where type is equal to t, uh, t. hmm, I'm actually so a bit stumped on that. You, you can you can do uh, an extends here. Mm. Um, type t and then like, here, let's, and actually I realized just looking at this before we keep going, I don't think it's key of t we want. We just want, t is already the keys. <sighs> done that a couple times now yeah i mean it's it's like a tricky thing that has no safety nets i think uh but yeah there's like the true branch here and the false branch um so in the false case we want it to be never right because yeah. we don't want to we, we want it i guess there's not a test for that but i think it should just probably be never never here so that we don't ever end up accessing there's no way to access those things we want to represent that with the types and then, as far as here is concerned, I think that's you. The, yeah, it's just you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Look at that. We got it. There we go. So it turns out that what we did here is actually re implement a different challenge, but it's, oh, wait, maybe it's not even a challenge. But anyway, we re implemented a different built in in TypeScript. And I will show them here. I'll show them back to back. Um, Let's see. This is another solution that somebody gave. Uh, let's let's confirm that it does actually work. It's ever so slightly different, but has a whole lot in common with what we're doing. They do this little thing, which is which is tricky, but I think is interesting. So instead of using property key, they're saying that T extends U indexing type 
on you. So it's a little more specific than property key because we can make it error in advance, kind of knowing that. I think that's interesting. But this thing here is basically the same as extract. So looking at the, um, let's pull extract from the, I just did a go to definition and we can look at what extract is. So if we kind of walked backwards from, from where we were before, we would get pretty close to, to what we saw, I suppose, um, using extract if we kind of refactored this. So extract is saying if t extends u, then return t, otherwise never. So we're grabbing those values out in advance. I don't know, interesting solution. Um, I'm trying to think, I think that was basically it. Some pe it's actually possible to make this pass without putting in any constraints, but I think that's just because the tests are not that extensive. Uh, really, these generic constraints should be there. But you can, I mean, you can pass the tests if you want to do competitive programming. Uh, you mm -hmm. can pass the tests with a little one-liner like that. It's kind of cool. All right. Um, but I like, I like your answer too. It's very, it's very clear what it's doing, I think. Any other thoughts? Yeah, I think I, I didn't really think of the extract built in, but yeah, now that you look at it, it's just extract with like one up extra steps. So that's good to keep in mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I find it can be really, there are really not that many of those. Uh, if we look through the built ins, like, uh, let's just go through here. Partial required, read only pick, record, exclude, extract, omit, parameters, return type, and then some these four intrinsic ones for strings. And then like, that's it. And they're, not, they're all very short. The only one that's kind of complicated is omit because it builds on pick and exclude. But the rest of them are pretty straightforward. And it's good to know all of them, like the back of your hand, to know partial and, you know, pick. They're pretty handy. Exclude and extract. Um, Single water typing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs>